Okay, alrighty. So, um, I had to try to put up a, like a barrier. All right, Blondie, you've already eaten. Hello, Mona. So we've got Mona and Blondie here. I was honestly expecting more pushback from them um, because the last time they were around each other, they honestly tried to duke it out, but so far so good. I do see Mona looking at her, now she's sad. I will say that's another thing that that um, sucks about Mona is that whenever I have an alpha in that she doesn't like, she gets like basically kind of emotional, like emo about it. See that yawn right there? That's um, that's a releasing of, of, of tension. Hey, psh, come on, you're not gonna do that, quit. We're not gonna push around an empty food bowl to make a bunch of noise. You've already eaten. Um, so what she'll do is she'll often go and go lay down in the corner. So the yawning, the constant yawning is a release of energy. Um, a lot of times when they're anxious or whatever, they'll, they'll do some yawning. <clears throat> Berlin is a massive dog, giant dog, six months old, almost seven months old. And he's is um, almost as tall as his grandma. He may actually be taller than her right now, honestly, if I'm, if I'm really looking closely. Watch out. Um, I had him out there with her today because um, I was out cleaning. I, I picked up the whole property today, picked up all the trash, um, loaded up my truck for the dump, only to figure out that the dump had closed by the time that I left, but that's fine, I'll do it tomorrow. And, um, and no, quit. Um, basically just got everything done that I really needed to get done out there. I um, cleaned the kennels, fed and changed everybody's water out and just, just really just did everything I needed to do. Preacher, get out of it. Psh, quit. No. Um, Don Juan, cut it out. Don Juan is in the kennel over here. Um, I've had him on. He, he basically got some kind of infected bite, like bug bite or something. I don't know if it was snake bite or something, but his face swelled up. And um, Anyway, it eventually abscessed, and so he's on antibiotics, and I'm cleaning it out. So, I don't know what has been getting my dogs here. No, quit preacher, but it's really annoying. Um, I think Sookie got her toe swelled up. Luckily, that resolved on its own. That was like when we first got here. And then Zoe had her leg thing, and then that resolved. And then Sookie got tagged in the head. Um, I think my preacher during the whole, um, during their pairing time. And, and so that got infected. I don't know. There's something in the soil here that lots of bacteria, something. And um, so now it's Don Juan's turn to have some random whelp that, you know, needs antibiotics. So I don't know. It's a weird deal. I'm not going to lie. Frustrating, but it is what it is. So, <clears throat> so as it stands, uh, looks like Mona is pretty much just decided that she's accepted it. She's not... Um, trying to assert herself. Blondie's really behaving herself and being really calm. And so that's causing Mona to be pretty chill about it. You can see she's keeping an eye on her. I don't know if you just saw, she kind of looked at her just there, but she is watching Blondie very closely. Um, but she doesn't seem to be overly concerned about it either. Blondie's in a particularly good mood right now. Um, I think it did help because Overall, Mona is actually um, a pretty chill dog. She's she's assertive. She's confident. Ah, ah, no, Berlin, and um, no. And so uh, so anyway, so she's she's no punk. And I think that Blondie can be a little heavy-handed initially, like her mother. Yeah, like your mother, heavy-handed, heavy-handed, in the in the in the dominance department. So um, or in the correction department. So. So anyway, so um, I think that now that <clears throat> Mona knows that Blondie's not being overly aggressive, and like I said, I think it helped that having having Mona in, who's a confident dog, but nece not necessarily an overly dominant dog, and then having Blondie out for a while, and then bringing Blondie back in was good, because um, Blondie basically <laughs> kind of... Um, I'm not going to say she lost rank within the pack, but one of the things that I've noticed is, is that 
when when we're doing this inside outside thing, any dog that has been in the house, whenever I bring a new dog in, that dog who's been in the house presumes that they are dominant over this space with that new animal. And so it can be a kind of a good way to reset roles a little bit, which is what I was hoping to do here. Um, as in <clears throat> kind of giving Blondie a little slice of humble pie so that her and Mona can coexist in the same space. Now my goal is to basically have these two ladies share the same space like this and have some um, outside time together with each other, not a bunch of dogs, just with each other, get these ladies used to living together for a while, um, maybe a week, two weeks before I try doing a pack um, video with them together. Um, I think that that, if, if I'm going to get away with it, it's going to be that way. So, and, and so far what I'm seeing is actually really good. It's a, it's a lot better than I thought that it was going to be. This is actually very uneventful. Um, so like I said, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. So other than that, um, like I said, got a ton of work done today. I'm going to be working on this now. I know people are going to ask, does this mean that you're going to be integrating Batista back in? No, it doesn't. Um, you know, I, um, you know, he's just a different kind of dude. And so we'll, we'll, we'll do what we can with him as far as like having him out with females and stuff like that. But as far as like having him out with the other males, no, um, it's just not something that I'm interested in, in doing. Um, so, um, so anyway, so that's it. I hope you guys are having a, a good day. Um, we, we're going to continue to work on that Brindle boy. Um, I have had some people that were interested in him. If you are, um, give me a holler. And um, like I said, he needs a very experienced home with somebody that's not put off by a, a dominant puppy. A puppy that wants to dominate. Very, very intelligent dog. Very intelligent so, um, just be mindful of that. If you're looking for, for a, for a challenge, if you like a dog, that's not easy. That's tough and makes you work for it. He's your man. So I hope you guys are having a good day. Oh, oh, I have an announcement. I have an announcement. As long as everything works out, because we all know how personal relationships can be. As long as everything works out, I found out about a new stud um, an import that's in the States that is really, 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 really nice. And if I can, I'm going to use him on, um, on Mona's next, um, next, uh, heat cycle. So that is going to be insane is all I can say. Um, the dog is, well, I won't go into that. He is just very, very, very nice. I don't want to give away too many details because, you know, um, sometimes I feel like I shoot myself in the foot by giving away too much and then, and then people try to do their thing and interfere and whatever. So, so anyway, so I'm not going to say too much, but um just needed to say that I, I found a really 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 nice stud and um hopefully i mean i've i've um through reese you know i've been told that we have permission to use him so i'm hoping we can if that's the case i'm going to use him on mona and i'm going to use him on this new female that i've got coming in um still waiting on her to come into heat in serbia um so that she can be paired with somebody up there and then <clears throat> and then brought over here but but on that next cycle I'm hoping to use this this import mail so anyway so that's that's um that's all that and then I think what I'll do on my Patreon I'll share the mail um I'll share a picture of the mail so anyway so hope you guys are having a good day and I'll talk at you later bye